Okay, Mick, a 3 1 win at the Oval against Limfield. Just get your thoughts on the game. I thought we deserved the win. I thought we looked comfortable for long spells. Defensively, we were solid. They didn't really cause us that many problems, apart from a few moments. But when you talk about the run of play in the first half, the second half, there were, there were no long spells where we were weathering a storm. You know, there was some chances, half chances. They scored a goal, a disappointing goal for us, you know, for a few reasons. You know, I don't think Paddy needed to lunge in like that. But at the same time, I've seen it on video and I don't think it was actually a foul. But anyway, poor time to concede. Um, which gave them a bit of belief. So we knew coming out in the second half we had to be ready because Limfield's uh, traditionally comes out really strong in the second half, especially the start of it. So we knew if, if a storm did come, we had to weather it for a while. We did. And we settled in comfortably. But defensively, the midfield three were excellent, closing down, picking up second balls, getting around their players, not letting them settle. I mean, even late in the game, you saw when they had possession in our half, when we hounded them, hounded them the number of times they had to pass it all the way back to the keeper. That was pleasing. The pace and quality of our front three tonight was frightening. Right until the 90th minute, with Conor McManaman bursting through the middle. So, when you've got strong defensively as a as a unit, and you've got that quality in attack, good things happen. That's great to get early goals in derbies, of course, as well. And that really sort of spurred the team on in the first half. Good goal too. You know, uh, I thought that probably one of the best moves of the game was at the end when Marcus Keane Cross and Jay Donnelly jumped. I think it was against Jimmy Callagher. Would have been a brilliant goal. But no, good time to score early. Yeah. I think that settles, I don't want to say nerves, but it settles the team down. We, st we played some good football in the first half. Um, but overall, of course, the game I thought we thought we deserved. And two new signings, Reese Marshall and Conor McManaman with both goals. They've certainly made their impact since they've yeah. signed. Like we knew when we signed Reese on the first day of the transfer window and Conor on the last day. You know, people have to remember that a year ago, no Irish league team could have got Reese Marshall. He wanted to leave the, the country, play elsewhere. He decided to go to Shamrock Rovers. And we brought him back. Uh, Conor McMenamin was sought after. You know, it was a, a, a large transfer fee was offered for him from another club. Probably a league record transfer fee. We didn't want to lose one of our players, but we had to do a, a player swap, and it worked out for us. We're delighted with him. We strengthened where we needed to strengthen. We now have a front three, four. You know, between Jay, Robbie, uh, Rory, Connor that can play any of the front positions. They can all play through the middle, they can all play left, they can all play right. And that's what I've always wanted here. And we now have an exciting attacking unit whether you know Robbie McDade was rested tonight. You know, so there's Robbie McDade to come into that. There's there's Kevin Stewart who came on tonight. There's Andrew Mitchell who's now back healthy in team training this week. So we're healthy at the right time of the season. And these games are coming thick and fast. We're gonna need everybody. And in the second half that full time environment really seemed to show the lads seemed to Go up the gears and then the, the third goal game as well. Yeah, it, it shows that it, look, we're, we're in good condition. I know that. I know that this team is fit, they're strong, they're resilient. Our injury rates are low. We have nobody really with any, you know, touch wood with long term injuries, muscle strains, you know, and that's been a, since I've been here, we haven't had that. So they're resilient, and we can put that down to full time, or you can put it down to just the type of training we do. I don't know what the answer is. But well, Glimfield played Friday night, they had an extra day rest. We played Saturday, you know, so we were able to put four sets of fresh legs in with Kayla Maran, uh, Jay Donnelly. Uh, who else was in there? Cricky Gallagher and Hervoy Plum. So it's 40% of your team with fresh legs. It makes a big difference. So you don't have to change everybody, but just changing a few gives you a bit of a lift. But, you know, the extra day recovery they had, I knew would be a bit of a factor. But no, it's a credit to the way our boys look after themselves. They're, they're professional, they look after themselves well. Some of them will probably enjoy a beer tonight, but uh, hopefully not too many because Friday comes quick against Carrick. And it's two big two wins in the space of seven days. The, the fans are obviously buzzing. Oh, are you having to calm boys down in there? Yeah, the, 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 the players now they will enjoy this tonight, but we're back to work tomorrow. You know, Carrick's the next one. There's no point winning this one and then not picking up points at Carrick. So I'll watch the game. I'll watch Carrick's games tomorrow. We'll prepare training for uh, Thursday. We'll be ready to go on Friday because every game's a a cup game now, as I said in a previous interview. I've been lucky enough to be in a couple of big tournaments in the last four or five years. And this is like tournament football now. Game four days, game four days, game four days. Where you get a big emotional high of a win, you've got to recover quickly and play again. And every game's massive. And that's what this league has become. It's exciting. So game three, four days, game three, four days. You've got to be ready, you've got to be resilient. 
and and a big part of that is in your head you know there's boys will arrive tired for training boys will arrive tired for a game but there's professionals that you, you're looking at them in the change room thinking look at this we were dead today but they can put their boots on step on that green grass and it's like they flick a switch and that's you know the full-time environment gives us that benefit as well so look proud of the team they've done really well since the start of the season you know we didn't get results at the start we had a tough run at the start but look give them credit they've worked hard they've stuck with the process that we're involved in and keep moving forward and Carrick, Niall Curry will have his team fit and ready go, to go for that one. It's never an easy place to no, go. No, Niles, they're organised, they're big, Carrick, they're strong. They play a system that suits them with a 3-5-2. They throw balls forward, the pitch is tight. Um, we went there last year and had a hard hard time. And, but look, we have to pick up points. They have to pick up points. They're playing with a bit of freedom because of avoiding relegation, but give them credit, they're, 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 they're not a poor team. Not by any means, Niall has them well organised and it's going to be a hard battle.